very near future, Judge Kavanaugh will be on the United States Supreme Court. Top Senate Republican Mitch McConnell assuring supporters today that Donald Trump's Supreme Court nominee, Brett Kavanaugh, will be confirmed to the lifelong appointment. Days after the Washington Post shared allegations from California professor Christine Blasey Ford, who says she was sexually assaulted by Kavanaugh in the early 1980s when they were both in high school. We are proud to stand with Brett. Today, a group of women speaking out in support of Kavanaugh. More than five dozen of us, the girls who were his closest friends in high school and hung out with him virtually every weekend, had no choice but to stand up and say, that's not the Brett I know. Kavanaugh himself has called the allegations completely false. Last night, after a rally in Las Vegas, Trump defending his Supreme Court nominee on Fox News. He's an outstanding person. And frankly, Sean, to see what's going on is, is just very, very sad. You say... And in Trump's most direct attack on Kavanaugh's accuser yet, he tweeted today, I have no doubt that if the attack on Dr. Ford was as bad as she says, charges would have immediately been filed with local law enforcement authorities by either her or her loving parents. I ask that she bring those filings forward so that we can learn date, time and place. One lesson of the Me Too movement, though, not all victims report sexual assault for a variety of reasons. I believe her because she's telling the truth. Ford has received vocal support from Democrats, protesters, even celebrities this week after the Senate Judiciary Committee delayed a vote on Kavanaugh's confirmation in the wake of Ford's allegations. Ford's lawyers and committee staff have been negotiating how she would testify. And new developments breaking today in the New York Times, the paper reporting U.S. Deputy Attorney General Rob Rosenstein, the official who appointed Bob Mueller to head the Russia investigation, last year proposed secretly taping Trump and removing the president from office via the 25th Amendment. Reaction from Rosenstein today to that article. He's calling the story inaccurate and factually incorrect.